Good morning children. Have a nice day. Welcome to Standard 7 Science Online Class. I hope all are safe and fine at home by the grace of God. Children, today we are going to start the laboratory thermometer children. Last class we are going to revise clinical thermometer. Okay children, here the laboratory thermometer are used to measure the temperature in schools. You already know. And other laboratories for uh, scientific research. They are also used in industries, okay, as they can measure the temperature in higher. Then, what clinical thermometers can record children? The stem and uh, bulb of the lab thermometers are very longer, okay, when compared to the clinical thermometer. See the diagram, children? Yes. So, this is a what? Laboratory thermometer. Here, there is no kink here okay there is no bend positions there there is no kink the lab thermometer here here the this type of thermometer has only the celsius scale ranging only not fahrenheit scale you you see the clinical thermometer both a celsius scale and fahrenheit scale are measured but this laboratory thermometer has only the celsius scale ranging from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius this is clear to you children yes and so what are the precautions to be followed using this laboratory thermometer children so first do not uh, tilt the thermometer that's very important while measuring the temperature place it upright okay and uh, second very important point note that reading only when their bulb has been surrounded by the substance from all sides that's main thing okay and that's also our children and see that do you know children you know in our human body the average uh, internal temperature children yes 37 degree celsius so I have to telling the fahrenheit 98.6 degree fahrenheit 98.6 degree fahrenheit so through its various among the individuals okay so however no person always exactly the same temperature at every moment because your body temperature will be changing at a second to second okay the temperature cycles regularly up and down through the day according to the activities and external factors okay and now let's important thing we are going to learn okay children now let's see the important five mark question children difference between clinical and laboratory thermometer so here first you write the clinical thermometer and write the laboratory thermometer first see the first point children clinical thermometer scale from how much 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius or from you are telling the fahrenheit also 94 degree fahrenheit to 108 degree fahrenheit that's all okay and you see the laboratory thermometer children so laboratory thermometers generally scale from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius here this type of uh, laboratory thermometer only have to mention the celsius only not fahrenheit this is clear to you children yes and see the clinical thermometer second point mercury level does not fall on it okay it's on as there is kink near the bulb already i told you know it's prevent the fall of mercury level here this type of laboratory thermometer here the mercury level falls on its own as no kink is present so that is the main reason here uh, handling very properly this type of uh, laboratory thermometer and see the third point children of clinical thermometer temperature can be read after removing the thermometer from armpit or mouth okay and you see the laboratory thermometer temperature is read while keeping the thermometer in the source of temperature for example a liquid or any other things and you see the clinical thermometer uh, next point fourth point to lower the mercury level jerks are given okay and you see the laboratory thermometer no need to give the jerk okay to lower the mercury level that is the main difference children and the last one is clinical thermometer it is used to for taking the body temperature that's very important children already you know your human body temperature 
that is 7 degree celsius you are telling the fahrenheit 98.6 degree fahrenheit that's all and uh, it is used to take temperature in laboratory only okay this is clear to you children yes so this is very 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 important five mark question children okay fine children i'll uh, give you some question answers children so write the question answers in your classwork note neatly children okay so maintain one note children don't write all subjects you have to write only science subjects only did, did you clear that one yes and uh, next uh, now let's see mercury thermo digital thermometer children this is the uh, one of the best way we are using the hospitals children you see this uh, type of digital thermometer yes so nowadays we are using the digital thermometer with the easiest way to hold this type of this one here there is a lot of concern over the use of mercury in thermometer. Here mercury is a toxic substance already you know. And it is very difficult to dispose of its uh, thermometer breaks. Here these these digital thermometers are available which do not use mercury. Okay. Here there is no mercury is here. Only the digital thermometer reading only they are available. Here instead it has a sensor which can measure the heat and coming out of your human body directly okay and from that can be measured the temperature of your human body see the temperature children see the thermometer digital thermometer 98.7 degree fahrenheit so this is the normal human body temperature children is it clear to you yes so this is uh, they are telling fahrenheit suppose sometimes it will be giving that um, celsius also okay and digital thermometer are mainly used to take the body temperature only. This is clear to you children. Yes. And uh, what are the cautions you have to take? First use of digital thermometer. See here. See the tip portion. And see the next one broad portion. Broad. And see the display portion. Already you know 98.5 degree Fahrenheit. See the uh, dotted portion children. So first wash the tip of the warm soapy water okay it's very important and second one press the on button okay that that is on button children and insert the tip of the thermometer into the mouth bottom or under the armpit okay you go to the hospital many of them they are using the armpit only okay under the armpit and uh, hold the thermometer in place until the beep sound 30 seconds okay you are taking the 30 second beep sound uh, ready to display finally you have to show the uh, reading of the display okay turn off the thermometer rinse under the water put away from the safe place okay so what are the cautions you are taking children this type of uh, digital thermometer so here Alex wanted to measure the temperature of hot milk using the clinical thermometer okay Alex is our boy his teacher stopped him from doing so so we are advised not to use the clinical thermometer for measuring the temperature because we are using only for what clinical thermometer not you are only you are using the body temperature so we are using the temperature wanted to measure the temperature of hot mix we are using the what laboratory thermometer only we are using so any objects in their human body also we are advised to avoid keeping in the sun or near the flame why you know children a clinical thermometer has small temperature range already you know the glass will crack burst due to the excessive pressure created by the expansion of mercury that is the main reason children and uh, maximum and minimum thermometer we are using maximum and minimum thermometer means what so we are taking the small ranges clinical thermometer we are taking the high ranges laboratory thermometer okay Okay children, here you take a maximum and minimum temperature children your previous day reported weather reports children. For example, you see the news channels children. Yeah, reports are measured by the thermometers called maximum and minimum thermometer. Now let's see the very important topic scales of thermometer. Scales of thermometer. Already you know children three scales. What are the three scales? Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale. The last one is Kelvin scale. Okay. First, now let's see the Celsius scale. 
you know celsius is a common unit of measuring the temperature children here it's termed after swedish astronomer okay her name is anders celsius okay in 1742 before that is was known as centigrade before we are using only centigrade only so after anders and celsius uh, only they are putting the name celsius k thermometers are used to the scale or uh, calibrated from freezing point of water what is the freezing point of water children you know 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius Zero uh, degree Celsius means freezing point. Hundred degree Celsius means boiling point of water. So in Greek, centim means hundred. Centim gradus means what steps? So both words make it centigrade. That means later Celsius we are uh, telling. Okay, and uh, now let's see the Fahrenheit scale. You know, children, Fahrenheit is a common unit of uh, measuring the human body temperature also. It is termed after the name of German physicist. Okay, that is a Swedish. Okay, Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. Her name. Okay, his name Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. Freezing point of water is taken as what? Thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and boiling point of water two hundred and twelve degree Fahrenheit. Here, the thermometer with the Fahrenheit scale are calibrated from what? This is the normal range, okay? Thirty-two degree Fahrenheit to two hundred and twelve degree Fahrenheit. That's all, children. And uh, see the Kelvin scale, children. Yes. So Kelvin scale, you know already. What is the uh, SI unit of temperature, children? Kelvin. Yeah. So Kelvin scale is termed after Lord Kelvin. Okay. So he is a scientist, children. Lord Kelvin. So it is SI unit of measuring the temperature, and it is. Capital K, or also as absolute scale. So this Kelvin scale is uh, call it as absolute scale. Okay, absolute temperature, absolute zero temperature. It's a correct answer. Sometimes asking the one mark question, children, and start from absolute zero temperature means start from the zero onwards. Okay, this is clear to you, children. Yes. Okay, children. Today's class is over, children. So next class we will see the. differentiation of uh, we are using the diagrams children fahrenheit celsius and kelvin scale uh, formulas also we are uh, discussed children children i'll give you some uh, question answers children write neatly in your uh, class work note children okay complete uh, all the question answers learn all the question answers that's very important children okay and uh, get uh, write the test and get corrected from your parents children thank you children have a nice day